So we have ourselves an EFL Young Player of the Year vote, and I think my choice is going to be Scott. Mumba looks decent, but he's a left back. There's lots of great left back options on the game. Chamadeo looks good as well. Another English player here. Four star, four star. Can play right back, right wing back, and right wing. But to me, Scott is the obvious choice. Alex Scott, that is five star, four star. Can play right mid, center mid, and cam. Club Hullet as well. Let's select him and let's get into the player review. Okay then. So we have our boy Alex Scott here. Like I said earlier, he's... Five star, four star, right footed, high medium, very nice card, man. I've gone with the Hunter on him. Like I said, he can play right mid, center mid, and cam as well. And he's got the flare and the technical dribbler. Not the best of traits, but at least he does have a few. He has an average body type in game, and I believe that the Hunter is the best for this card. I'm going to be playing him further up the pitch to try to use those five star skill moves and the weak foot. Now this is a very versatile card that can play anywhere in the midfield and across the top of the line. With the Hunter, he goes up to 90, 95 acceleration and 92 sprint speed. He gets a 96 finishing and 94 shot power, 90 volleys and 84 long shots. Now his short pass and long pass are very nice as well, as well as his vision. 91 agility and balance are great. The reactions are a little bit low as well as the aggression and the composure. Now. This card is not a top tier meta card, but I think it's going to be a very good versatile card to use. If you can get yourself a few championship cards in the game from the team of the season as well, it's going to help you out. I've managed to link him with a Shackleton, a Tella, and a manager, and a few English players around him. I'm going to be playing on my right forward like I usually do with these player reviews. I'm going to have him stay central, get him behind, and basic for the defensive support. Might try him here as well. This is more my attacking center mid later on in the game if he doesn't do too well at right forward for me. In a 4-2-3-1, I think he could be very, very good at wide as a central cam or even as your attacking CDM if you have one of them getting more into the box. This guy looks like a maybe a cheap KDB with the five-star skill moves. He could be very interesting. With that being said, let's get into the gameplay and see how good this Alex Scott is in game. I'm excited to use him. AFC TRD X11. I don't know what the hell that means, but he's got Ramsdale in that King, the Lampard. Very solid team. A red kudos as well. I like it. Let's see what Scott can do here. So for the price that he is coming in at around an 83 rated squad, what is it now? Maybe 20, 30k. It's very, very cheap. If you put in a team of season in there, you could probably get away with just using a bunch of 80s around the team of the season. I think he's worth it. You know, he's cheap. Get him on your bench. If you, uh, he can make your starting lineup as well. It's just a little bit hard to link. Unless you can pick up some of those fantastic championship cards. I will be doing a review on uh, Akpom and... Uh, um, what's his name? Joan Pedro as well. Almost scored that. That was a, a nice little animation. But yeah, I think you could play anywhere on your team. He might be even interesting to play as a right back. You know, if you have an attacking player, if you have your, one of your right backs or left back joining the attack, he could be interesting there as well. With the five star skill moves, he can create a lot of different situations for himself. We all know how meta five star skill moves are in this game. Most people prefer them to the weak foot. I'm going to play the one two here. Let's see how he makes that run. Very nice. He's in space. Touch. Finish. Come on, Scott. Oh, lovely finish. Lovely finish. I would definitely go with the Hunter on him. 85 pace is decent, but not perfect. You know, I think he needs that. He needs that pace boost for sure. But he's cooking here. He's cooking. That was a bit of a heavy touch. I should have let go of the sprint button. That was my fault. But feel smooth. Skill moves feel uh, feel crisp with him. They come off with ease. Come on, Scott. Cut inside. Lovely. Oh, he got so lucky. He was there. He beat his right back, man. He was gone. Scott here, nice step overs, make a run, make a run, can he get away, he's only got 85 pace, nice, oh that was never offside, come on EA, you know better man, nice, can he pick him out, lovely ball into Abraham's feet, that's a foul, come on EA, oh the bag by Abraham, keep it, oh well, that was a nice pass to pick him out in between the defenders there, decent passing, lovely, lovely Scott. Oh, Abraham, if you got that back to him, man, I think I think he would have finished it. Definitely think he would. They give him a nice upgrade as well. His silver card, which obviously no one uses, was 3-star, three 3-star. Three so it's nice that they made him 5-star, 4-star. Nice. And inside, finish. Oh, oh. One thing about him, though, is when he exits his skill moves, always seems to be a, a bit of a heavy touch with it. I don't know if that's gameplay or him. Um, and try to... Leg over the sprint button a little bit early to see if that stops happening with him. Nice. Good run there. I didn't even trigger him. On the weak foot. Cross body. Lovely finish. That is team of the season Ramsdale in that. Very nice finish on the weak foot. Once again, 
I think the Hunter is definitely the play with him. I think this is the right player to pick out of the bunch, guys. The other two, they look all right, but get the five-star skill moves with him. He can play further up on the pinch as well. Center mid, cam, right mid. Just more variety for squad building. Oh, that was he missed that. That was supposed to be into space. I don't know if that was my aiming or just a bad pass from him there, but uh, I expect him to be able to execute that pretty effortlessly. Come on, EA. A little rainbow? Yeah, touch. Very nice. And again, the dribbling. The dribbling is smooth. Oh, he almost sent Hanko. Scott, great tackle there. That's why. Oh, that's a red. No way. But that's why I think sometimes having players with high defending stats up on the pitch can be very interesting to help you win the ball back. There we go. You can do it after all. Very nice. From kickoff. Try to use some of that uh, kickoff boost to help us. Oh, we couldn't. Chevchenko could tackle. Lovely. Oh, another well read there by our opponent. That was going to be a nice witted pass on to our Tammy Abraham there. The card everyone regrets not doing. Come on, Scott. Play the extra pass, get it back, touch, finish. Oh, that's a pen, that's a pen. Yep, he took out Abraham. I saw that in the corner of my eye. Still try to finish it with Scott. Let's get him on the penalty here. 86 pens. You know we have to chip it. We just have to, come on. Oh, that's that's two times in a row now that I look like an absolute twat. Oh yes, that is a, such a smart run. Going in behind the defender. Ball roll scoop. Oh, he make them, no way. How do you let him? Take him off the hook there, man. We're through. I make him. He read it wrong, and he still gets the benefit of the doubt. He's through again. Touch on the left foot. Oh, yes. What weak foot, man. What weak foot on this guy. That is another finish on the weak foot. Cross body like that. Under pressure as well. Nice. He's through again. Let's see that little chip animation. Oh, he's got it. This card is fantastic. Four goals. And you know what's surprising me the most about him? It's his shooting and his pace. He feels absolutely rapid when he gets in behind, like he's not getting caught up. I think uh, his space that might be a little bit misleading. He might be one of those guys. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, no, yay. How are you going to give offside there? I already thought it was clean through on net. Come on, do better, man. You know that's not offside. Oh, and King takes him out. Is this where he finally gets his red card? Yep, he got sent off finally. I should have been sent off a long, long time ago. Lots of space here for Abraham. Played into Scott. Finished that first time. Off the post again. Off the post again. He easily could have had six. All right then. I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay with Alex Scott. I definitely made the right choice in the player pick. He felt quicker than what his stats said and his finishing was actually quite good. Like I said earlier on though, I definitely think you could try him out anywhere across the midfield and even further up the pitch. Let me know in the comment section down below who you ended up going with. Did you make the same choice? Are you regretting your choice if you didn't take Alex? And if you enjoyed the video, leave it a like, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.